Today is Saturday, 25th of May. About 88 degrees and 70% humidity. It is miserable. Uh, anyway, went and got some uh, barbecue. There's a joint here in town called Carter's Barbecue. That's the only restaurant in Longview I'll stand in line for. It's busy. God dang, their barbecue is good. Got some brisket, got some rib. And I said, well, I'm out. So went ahead and started watering the garden after I fertilized it. Start watering in the triple 13. They say it's gonna rain. They've been saying it's gonna rain. They seem to be missing us. So been watering about 18 minutes. Uh, I'll leave the water on it. Uh, for another 30 minutes at least. <clears throat> Put the nozzle on some blocks to get it above the plants so it's not hurting the plants with the force of the water coming out of the spray nozzle. My wife said pick some more tomatoes. Well, I picked tomatoes yesterday. I only found two today that are ripe. Got a bazillion green ones. And I ate one of them. So I'll bring one to the house for her. You can see right now, I'm shading out my sweet pepper. I should have put those more in direct sun. Uh, they're being shaded by my sunflower seed, which I just planted on a lark. So I'll know next time, uh, put the sunflower seed uh, down towards the street going east to west so they won't shade anything. That's all right. I got to know next year to open up the space, you know, my tomato plants a little bit more, a couple feet at least. Uh, this kale is going to go away sometime this year. I'll put it and the far corner over there so it's out of the way so I have more utilization at full rows. Uh, everything looks to be doing good. Told the wife I'm gonna get about 15 bags of composted cow manure as soon as it goes on sale and just stack it up and over the winter let it compost some more inside the bag and then uh, When I lay out my rows next year, I'll lay in that composted cow manure directly in the row I'm planting in and try to improve soil consistency. And uh, plus quality, of course. Uh, our raised beds there at the house, quality of the soil inside those raised beds uh, puts my little garden area to shame now rich black full of nutrients full of organic matter full of earthworms there's some good looking dang soil so the wife's plants are doing exceptionally well but that's all right you know I'll, I'll build this up it's a brand new raised bed it takes time i got time uh, for what it is, it ain't too shabby. Especially being a brand new raised bed. You know, it, it takes a few years to get your soil right. I don't care what kind of base you buy to put into it, it's still gonna take a few years to get it right. Stuff's gotta break down, adjust, constantly adjusting the pH. You know, use lime for that. Uh, or urea, if your pH is uh, too much of a base, you dump in straight urea, that will acidify it. So, all part of it. You know, it's enjoyable. And, uh, all the people that walk by the street going to the missions, uh, they always have something nice to say about my garden. And, uh, nobody wants any kale. I don't know what the hell the problem is with kale, but nobody wants that stuff. Except the wife. But 
girls at the bank was telling me it's good for your skin. I said, yeah, I'll just be all over that. Anyway. So I'll sit here and hang out and watch this for a bit. Head back towards Casa here in a little while. That's all for this one. Thank you.